And John and Keith been riveting, have you? Oh, yeah. Constant. Constant. <laughs> rivet, rivet. <laughs> Getting their own back for when we were doing it. <laughs> yeah. Dave, Norm and Phil have bolted the triple cross section of the jig to the face of NX611 just prior to lifting the fuselage into the correct position so they can fit the jig's cross section members into the area where the tailplane fits. Wandering off into the distance. Thank you. They bolted the triple cross to the main part of the jig. Keith and John working on the French wing, skin pinning more skins to the top surface and then riveting. Uh, like a shimmy damp this is a damper unit here. Yeah. You know, to provide Phil talks about the shimmy damper. This damper corrects the rear wheel overcompensating the sideway movement when revolving. Jimmy damper. Oh, I see. A lot, yeah. of, a lot of aircraft, you know, like a shopping trolley. Yeah. Uh, sometimes gets a shimmy on, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, these damper units here take the shimmy out of the. Yeah. Make it a, bit, a bit stiff for it to move. Yeah. To stop it doing that. When they're really taken off. Yeah. Norman continues with the strip down of the Alio unit and its damper. Oh, it's, a, it's a, an hydraulic. It's a little, hydra it's a little hydraulic damper, like a, it's, it's sort of like a blade in the inside of it with a little hole in it. So it dampens the um, the oil going from one side of the blade to the other. It's called, it's got, it's called a rotor in, yeah. inside the thing. Yeah. It's a little pot with a rotor in the middle of it, and then as it wants to da um, shimmy, because there's a tiny hole in the in the the, the rotor yeah, itself. Correct. It, it, slows the the rate of the oil going between the two sides yeah but clever little kit bit of yeah. kit just james rear wheel unit is on the left the spare unit on the right came from australia oh good i learn something every day and it's just a pot full of oil so you yeah if the oil every time it does shimmy it yeah. chucks the oil out overboard there's like yeah. a thermal relief valve on it it'll chuck it overboard yeah so every so often, and then as you, there's a plunger in the bottom, and as you get used and the oil's going down, the plunger will um, go into the unit. So you have to make sure the plunger's fully out every time you go flying. Mm. So then by doing that, you just pump hydraulic fluid into it so you get the right pressure and the, the thermal thing opens and chucks the contents over and then you know it's full. Yeah. Oh no, we're dripping oil. Les is working on the Australian unit. That is only a cover for it. Yeah, so this, is, this is the outer sleeve. Yeah. Um, and then inside the leg, there's another, there's the piston. So this, that's the outer piston, that's the inner piston. Yeah. And that is, um, is where the, the damper is, the hydraulics are in there. It's a bit more. Yeah. And that's the hydraulic pressure. So the hydraulics will be on this side. Yeah. And the hydraulics also come through a little bit, and then yeah. the, the gas goes on top of it. So there's another picture. You've got 
oil and a bit of oil and gas when it's weight off. As it's working, it, as it lands, it pushes the oil up, comes through the um, damper valve, yeah. and then that gives you your, your, your shock loading. Compresses the gas. Yeah, compresses the gas. Because you can't compress yeah. through it. Yeah, and then, no. It, no, then it goes back the other way, the recoil, so your gas goes and then that's it weight on. So the difference between weight on and weight off yeah. is there'll be more, the gas will be more pressurised. Yeah. And what is, when the weight is off, what pressure is supposed to, what do you set that the, the pressure? The base, base pressure is about, I think it's 630 to 700. It depends on the weight of the aircraft and stuff like that. You have to, and also, you have to do it, you have to do it weight on. So you have to put the weight of the aircraft on and then there's a measurement. Yeah. So you have to increase or decrease the air pressure to get the right measurement. So it's, a, it's, it's a complicated yeah, yeah, little yeah, unit when yeah, you... Yeah, it is, yeah. The main legs are roughly the same, but you tend to do them weight off. Yeah. And, I, and they're about 900 pounds. But they're easy to do because you can just jack the aircraft up and play with each one individually. Because yeah. even though they've got, they've got a balance tube between them, yeah. each one's individual. Are they the same sort of um, fluid and gas system? That'll be... OM15, OX19, something like that, yeah. and then the gas here will be in the military, it'll be nitrogen. Nitrogen, yeah. yeah, yeah. I asked Dave how they will tackle the restoration of just James fuselage. Right, one of them one of said, when you get it back in the jeep, how are you going to approach it? What, the restoration? Restoration, yeah. Uh, like I say, um, Bob and John's come up with the idea of altering the jig a bit so that we can get everything in the exact, exact position. So we'll run through that when, as when the time comes. Uh, um, my, my, my initial fear is to um, take most of the skins off and then just take one frame out at a time and, yeah. and then back in again. But we'll, we'll sit down and discuss it before and make sure yeah. everybody's happy with what we're doing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that we'll see. <laughs> Good. <clears throat> Once this is all in the jig, we're going to return to Jane and rebuild her because that's a priority to get it ready for. Tax, what, tax put on in. the tailplane? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the wheels got to go on the tailplane. Yeah. And bits, and bits and bobs got to be taken up, so yeah, that needs. Will the tailplane go on before the wheel? Tailplane go on before the wheel, normal. I prefer it didn't, but we're probably willing it now. Yeah. Yeah. Now yeah. The gang turned up to assemble the rear part of the fuselage of the jig. Yeah, 
two bolts in. I'll <laughs> This is the radar dish from Just Jane, which has a H2S ground mapping radar. I noticed the ditch had a trip of aluminium across the face, so I asked Ben, what does this do? So normally on a, on a dish like this, the beam like a cone. Yeah. Yeah? But because we ground mapping, we want what's called a cosecant square. So we, we add this bit, uh, if you imagine this is the bottom of the scanner, this is the top, and it forces the beam into, uh, it, it angles it down so that you get the same power here as you do 20 miles away. So, so, so you get a nice narrow beam across the ground. Yeah. Um, how does that deflect it? Um, it just alters an impact it's like so that if you look in a mirror and then you add another little mirror at an angle yeah you can see yeah, yeah. I'm with same, you now same yeah. Sort of yeah oh good the H2S radar will not be part of the restored Lancaster but the dome cover will be fitted on the underneath of the fuselage <laughs> oh, yeah, well, yeah. Ooh, yeah. And that's at the slow speed. Yeah, and you, say, you say it's two speeds. Yeah. So that would be uh, distances 20 miles or so, maybe a bit more, 20 to 20 miles, 20 to 50 miles, yeah. whatever, the, whatever the maximum range was, yeah. that would be the slow speed. Norman's friend from BBMF turned up with a tool for removing the ferrules from the Australian rear wheel assembly. That, that's the Australian one. Yeah. So when you got those ferrules out of yeah, the down end there, piece, yeah. then did then the rest part fall apart? No. no we had to yeah. smack it out. Did you? Yeah. What about that end? That's just going to come off. If they're out, they've just got to knock the dot. The, the, that cap's got to come off the top. Yeah. And then the, the gas workings and the... Hydraulic bits will go out the bottom. And that's the piece you wanted. That's it? the piece you want to look at, yeah. yeah. But now we've got them out, we want to take the other one apart, the one that was on the aircraft. Oh, do we? Yeah, so I've got to do that next. But we're concentrating on getting the um, fuselage into the jig today. Oh, good. What the hell is that now?